Hello, and welcome to another video. Finally. Today, we're on FIFA 18, and I'm planning on making a um, FIFA 18 Road to Glory. I am, say, a few episodes into it already. So, I've already got basically maybe up to 10 episodes or so pre-recorded, which is pretty decent. I'll just have to edit it. Render it, upload it, you know, all of that shit. So, this is going to be episode one, where basically, I think I already have a team at this point, so I didn't think about recording it at the start, so I already have a alright team. Obviously, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it does say EA Access, so this was on the EA Access, and this was a few, well, this was th last Thursday I recorded this. Couldn't be bothered to edit it to be fair, but um, so yeah, in this episode, I think we just I basically I, I think we basically just get into it, maybe do some of the daily objectives, and that's about it to be honest. In this episode, and then the next episode, I think we play a few squad battle games, so tune in for that because squad battles is actually pretty fun to be fair. Oh, anyway, yeah, so here. Which I recommend everyone to do is buy all the coin boosts. Basically everything you can get. The only thing I haven't bought is the kits and the balls. Which I probably should do to be fair but... I just haven't because I can't be asked for that extra 900 coins. It's a bit stupid to be fair but... So yeah we basically get on with buying your... I bought this kit pack so I thought they were quite nice kits. So... We buy everything in the that's useful in the catalogue, and as you can see, I am level like 86 or something absolutely stupid in the EAS FC like catalogue, so I can buy everything and not worry about it basically. So it's all right. All right. So here we're going into my actual ultimate team. We. I have to claim new items which were lone players, I think Elder World and Hazard. Hazard, in my opinion, is awful. It, it was shocking. It's Cuerdo, however, uh, you will see later on in the series. He is great. He, he, he's pretty great. He's got a decent amount of goals from left forward in a good amount of games, which is 10 times better than Hazard ever did, so it's alright. Elder Verald is a bit mm, average to be fair, but you can't win them all, can you? So, here's my team. It's not great, but it's not. Yeah, it's not good, but yeah, it's bad. Um, I've got a pack Josh King, I packed Darn out of it. She wasn't even that bad to be fair, but I also packed, if you can see down the bottom of the squad, Fabianski. I packed him in my first ever FIFA pack. Um, I decided to keep him so I thought maybe when the game actually comes out he, he, might, ri he might rise in price Oh f*** <coughs> me He might rise in price from like 11k to maybe even like 12, no not 12, like 16, 17, 18k So I kept him and hoping he's just going to rise in price because he can't go any lower to be fair so it's alright Josh King though he's a <coughs> shit <coughs> down, he's, he's awful He's genuinely awful. Yeah, oh, he's, uh, oh, he's shocking, he is. That's why I'm happy I then packed Musa not long after, who is also insane. Absolute beast. Here I see, I've actually got 400 coins from match only. So the fucking, how cool is that, mate? Like, Albie. Oh, yes, he got. Has also got 56,000 coins transfer profit. He now has, I think, 400k because he packed um, Ebra. Man, alas, a few other pretty solid players. So he's been pretty lucky with his packs. I, I've got like two average players. You'll see another. You'll see the other player in the next episode, I think, or the episode after that, one of the episodes. And he's he's my best pack so far. But you'll have to tune in next time, or for the next few videos to see who I get. All right, so here I go into a few. Squad building challenges. I think this was the point where I didn't complete any of them apart from the let's get started, which I got a couple bronze packs and they were just obviously shit. This is obviously when I had basically no 
players in my club. I now have an alright amount, not great, but a decent amount. Oh yeah, so this SPC, I had to have, ideally I had to have a German striker and an English CDM. I had the, I had the English CDM, but I didn't have the German striker. Oh, there you go. This is where I go into my daily objectives. We'll see what I, I can do to get some free and start our objectives, obviously. So I changed my, I kept my name, because that's been my name since like FIFA 9, but I changed my abbreviation to VFC, obviously Valenton Football Club, so I got a prize for that, which is alright to be fair. Change the formation of your squad, this is literally simple as, you just switch and then switch back to what you want and it'll count. There you go. Getting fit, that's literally just applying a simple consumable to be fair. So this is, if you don't have one, you could probably just go and pick one off for 200 coins and you'll I think you make it back to be fair, you probably get 200 coins for it, or a fit, another fitness card. So you're not losing anything. <laughs> I'm putting it on Joshua King, so I thought I'd be using them for a while, but he's, he's awful. So, there's me being stupid. Servers like that a bit there, I think. Or I'm just a bit of a special kid. Wouldn't surprise me to be fair, but you know. Single player match. Yeah, oh, I was like, nah, mate, can't be bothered with that yet. I do do it eventually, but not yet. So this is where you have to arrange every single player in the squad into their perfect position. So obviously it doesn't work right now because I had a CDM in centre mid, etc. A cam in centre mid, you know, all of that stuff. And the right mid, left mid, and things. So. I put Mkhitaryan in my right mid, I got random centre mids I could just whack in so it counted. Mkhitaryan in the right mid. Hazard I took out for Arnautovic because he's a left wing, but my left midfielder. I got a random centre mid, there you go, him. Big job dob, get a new striker, pop him in and that's it, done. And then I went back to my actual formation, took them all out and I got my team back and I got a hundred coins or whatever you get. At the end of the day, at the start of FIFA, anything you can get, you should take. So, you ain't going to complain with that, to be fair. Mkhitaryan, though, he, he, he was pretty good. He was pretty good, to be fair. So, I might try and buy him. So, I got a FIWC Stadium, which I didn't even use, because it looks extremely average. In formation. So, yeah, you get fitness card so the one you used earlier for the fitness one you get a fitness card back anyway so it's alright for the fitness one you get a lone player I think out of here I might have got Juan the holy Juan yeah I did so he was pretty solid he went straight into my team he wasn't great but he wasn't bad and then this I got was that 150 coins I can't tell because obviously in the editing software, the quality is like 360p. So here, I'm looking at the daily objectives to see what I can do. I'm thinking, what can I do straight away? I don't have to go to a game too. So I obviously do the contract one, which is just apply a contract. I think I applied it to Josh King. Because obviously I thought he was, yep, yeah, I applied it to Josh King, so I thought he'd be alright. 90 pace, 77 shooting. He, he was shit. It's as simple as that, really. Oh, yeah, because one of the um, because one of the daily objectives was score with a Calcio A player twice or something like that. So I went and bought some uh, Calcio A striker off the market, so I could do that. Because you got a reward for it at the end of the day, so I'm not gonna complain. This is where I put in the holy one. Already with just that all right player in the midfield, the team started to look a slight bit better. Yeah, bronze pack, not great, but it's still 400 coins, free 400 coins at the end of the day when you think about it. I got absolute shit. I did get a few English players to be fair, and 100 coins. So I made 500 coins and I could probably make around 1000 coins for that pack. I just kept it in the club for SPCs. Buy a manager, that's just simple at the end of the day, and it go to the store, buy a manager, little fit your team or for 200 coins what you want really I can't remember what I did I think I might have paid 200 coins I checked um, I checked the Premier League managers 
but they were like 750 coins. I do buy one later on in the series because obviously he gives that chem boost, but at this point I, it's like six or 500 coins. I could get a player with that that will be better than a Mark Noble or something, so I just went 200 coins and bought a guy that would relatively fit the team. I think I bought a Spanish one because obviously Mata and Mankia are right back. Yeah, so I buy the guy that I hovered over. That obviously, so that cost me 200 coins. And for that, I get. Oh, don't worry about it. This is where I buy the. This is basically where I buy Will Any. It's as simple as that at the end of the day, isn't it? He looks so much like Will Any, it is stupid. There you go, shit. Will Any. It's weird how how much like some people can look like people because this shit guy, he looks so much like Will Any. It's actually scary, and he's like Czechoslovakian or something. Like when I hover over him for more than half a second, you understand how much he looks like Will Any. Obviously. For like 400, 500 coins or whatever, you're not going to get an insane striker. There you go. Well, he looks so much like Will Any. He's got four star skills at the end of the day, which is alright. So I put in Schick. It's actually. It, I can't get over how much he looks like Will Any, man. Like. So I pick him up for 400 coins. Not bad at the end of the day. I think the video is coming up to an end here, guys. So, um. Tune in next time for the good pack, and as always, please like, subscribe, and peace.